Yeah, that was the tale of two halves. We were uh, pretty darn good defensively in the first half, and I, I thought terrific uh, in the second half, which was a big difference. The first half offensively, we were totally out of sync. In the second half, we did a much better job of sharing the ball, finding the open man, and getting some good looks. We didn't shoot the ball well from three. I told the team we were probably going to have to make 10 threes to win this game, and we just couldn't, couldn't make a three, couldn't make a free throw for a long time. So very, very fortunate to win. Those big guys from uh, Purdue are a handful. I thought our big guys did a great, great job of staying out of foul trouble and not fouling out. So we had a still a good defensive unit at the end. Our first question will come from Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Coach, congratulations. Um, I want to ask you about the play of Cam Mcgusty and Matt Cross at the end. Uh, in those final two minutes, both of those guys made several clutch plays. Can you talk about both of them? Thank you. Uh, well, first with Matt, uh, he didn't take a shot in the first half. He didn't hit a three in the game. Yet down the stretch, I really like having him in because I, I think he knows how to win that he'll make a good defensive play, he'll, he'll, he'll hit an open man for an easy shot. And in this case, he got two layups, and then he got fouled and made one of the two free throws. So he, he's, he's really a solid performer. When you think he's only a freshman, well, we're very, very pleased with how he's playing. Second is Cam Augusti, I, I thought really struggled in the first half offensively. Took some ill-advised shots. Uh, I, I really got on him at a, a timeout. And then in the second half, he was much more of a leader and, and much more under control and making good decisions. And that's a huge difference when you play like that. Thank you. Next question will come from Wyatt Topelman. Coach, I'm still shocked at that comeback win. Um, how do you use that as a solid learning lesson in terms of starting out of the gate strong against ACC teams come January, February? Yeah, this game will be over and we'll be moving to the next game. You know, it's, this is a uh, um, Tuesday night, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, great comeback win. But tomorrow we've got to move on to our next opponent and our next game. I think the guys will, will be energized by the victory and hopefully learn something about the way we shared the ball in the second half. Next, we'll get a question from Matt Shodell. Hey, Jim, congrats on the win. Thanks, Matt. Um, so, you know, I don't know if you're oversimplifying it. I mean, you shared the ball better, you know, you played good defense in the first half, better defense in the second half. I'm sure at halftime you had quite a few words for the team. Um, is there anything sort of you specifically can point to that, that click? Was there a guy on the team who stood up at halftime? Was there something that you guys identified that you weren't doing that you could really hone in on? Like, is there some specifics you can give us on what the difference was between the first and second half besides the sort of generalities? Well, I was not in the uh, H100 room where we are meeting at halftime. <laughs> I was having a coach's meeting, but I think – our, our two seniors, Chris Likes and, and Sam Wardenberg, had some very strong words of encouragement to, to the team to pull together. And I think the players, their teammates, responded to that, that kind of encouragement. And then when my staff and I finished our meeting, I think we were definitely all on the same page that this was going to come down to, could, could we get better looks at the offensive end and we try to spread the floor on them we had Nasir Brooks do a lot of ball screen at the top of the key, and that, that seemed to spread their defense out a little bit more than it, it did in the first half. Next question will come from Steve Wine. Jim, how much does it please you about your culture that uh, two guys uh, instrumental in what happened at halftime are guys who are not uh, even playing in the game? Well, we've – told the players, my coaching staff has been on our guys about what uh, proper leadership is. 
the messages and how important it is that they're received properly by your teammates. One of the things that, that we emphasize is staying very, very positive. What happens oftentimes when you face adversity like we did tonight, one guy will complain and then the other guy will, will defend himself and they get into like an argument. That's not what we want. We want one guy to encourage his teammates, hey, we got to play better defense, we got to rebound, we got to share the ball better, we got to find the open man better. And the other guys to say, yeah, Chris is right, Sam is right, uh, Rodney's right. We, we've got to do a better job than, than uh, what we did in the first half. And that clearly is what happened. Our defense, you know, we gave up 32 points. And what did we give up in the second half? Like 22? Um, so the defense was pretty darn good all night. But we only scored 14 points in the first half and 44 in the second. So a huge difference when you're sharing the ball, getting assists. That bounce pass that Harlan Beverly threw to Isaiah Wong for the three-point play right at the end, is really the kind of basketball we want to play, where a guy cuts to the basket, like Cam Mcgusty cut to the basket, and uh, I think Anthony Walker might have thrown the bounce pass for the backdoor layup. Not sure, uh, but whoever it was, you know, he could have shot. You know, he could have taken it on himself. He didn't. He saw the open man, hit the cutter, and that guy scored. Hey Cam, uh, first, uh, what clicked for you and for the whole offense really uh, between going from the first half to the second half for you guys? Just moving the ball. I felt like we were too stagnant in the first half. We were taking four shots with two or three people in our faces. Um, they play a pack line defense. So, you know, there's really the right play is always to drive and kick it to somebody for an open shot. Um, that was our game plan coming into the game. And we didn't do a good job of that in the first half, but um, you know, we got on each other, we got in the locker room and we challenged each other. The coaches challenged us and we came out in the second half and, um, you know, we knew the defense, if we played, continued to play hard on defense, it would translate to the offense as long as we uh, kept sharing the ball and trusting each other. Next question will come from Matt Shadell. Hey, Cam. I uh, want to ask something that Jim was just talking about. I guess the coaches weren't with you at the start of halftime and um, he thinks maybe Chris Likes and, 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 um, and maybe, you know, one of the other older guys uh, stepped up and talked to you guys at halftime and were sort of leading. leading. I think you mentioned Sam Wardenberg was the other one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, can you maybe say if that's what happened and maybe what their message was and if it sort of resonated with you guys, even though they weren't playing and, and they were sort of stepped up like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like, you know, we got in the locker room. Matt was the first one to say something. Um, and, you know, that's, that's always good, you know, to have a younger guy that's challenging people. You know, I was proud of him for that. And then, you know, all the seniors just kind of put, you know, put their two cents in as to, you know, what they – and a lot of people that were sitting um, – you know, Elijah, too, he's sitting out because um, of because uh, of transfer rules. But, you know, the guys that were on our team that watched the game and see everything, those were the guys that really, you know, said a lot because they're the ones seeing everything. We're on the court. And, you know, it's just – it's just a blessing to have, you know, guys that are still so involved and care even though they're not playing, they're not worried about their injuries or, you know, having to sit out. They're worried about, all right, what can we do to tell them to help them on the court tonight and help them get a win? So, um, you know, it was a big step for us as a team, you know, just being able to sit there and tell everybody, hey, this is what we need to do. Let's get on board and then actually doing it. Next, we'll get a question from Wyatt Kobelman. <clears throat> Cam, congratulations on the win. I'm still shocked myself. Um, how would you compare this to a tough game last year where you may not be able to bounce back and your strong mentality this year to complete the job? Um, honestly, it's just our defense. Even in the first half, they only had 32 points in the first half, right? Or 34, something like that. But either way, you know, that, that, that's 32. not bad. We can, we can, if we were playing better offense, you know, I think we're a team that can go for 40 to 50 and a half any given night. So, um, you know, I think our defense was great. We just met, we were just missing that physicality in the, in the first half, and I feel like the second half we brought that, and we just brought that that fight in us. And you know that's what we need to do from you know the first twenty minute half to and and lead that on to the to the second twenty minute half. And our last question will come from Michelle Kaufman. Hey Cam, congratulations. Um, can you talk about why do you think you guys struggled so much from three point? Uh, you know, your three point shooting was way down in this game. Was it something they were doing? Or was it just that you guys were, your shot was off? 
I think in the first half, we took a lot of restaurant ones, a lot of contested ones, a lot of ones off the dribble. Um, and, yeah, I, I, I'll give credit to them, you know. Um, I definitely, in the first couple of minutes, I was like, wow, they're actually playing good defense. So I, I definitely have to credit Purdue's defense. They did a great job. And, um, you know, we just got to get back in the gym. We didn't shoot the ball well from the free throw line either. Um, so I feel like just as a team, that's something that, you know, we've got to notice. This is our first game of team playing, man, you know, and our first real, you know, power five team that we've played. So obviously we see catching and shooting is something that we need to work on. So it's a blessing that it happened this early, a curse that it happened in the game. But, you know, at least we can learn from it and um, fix it before uh, we head into conference. Arlen, congratulations on the win. How would you say the team – shifted its focus towards uh, defensive efforts in the second half when you all knew your three-point uh, field goals weren't going to be hitting tonight? Um, in the locker room, I think we just had like a heart-to-heart. -heart. Everybody, as players, we just um, told ourselves this is the second half. We need to really pick it up on both sides of the floor. Um, We, we weren't doing terrible defensively, but second half, we really picked that up and got a lot of stops that we really needed. And um, I, feel, I just attest that to really, I want to point two people out, who's Nas and Matt. They really challenged us as a team to step it up on the defensive end, and I feel like we responded well to that. Next question will come from Michelle Kaufman. Hey, Harlan, can you... Uh... Um, elaborate a little bit on that. A couple of people have or mentioned about uh, the, the talk at halftime and everything and that Matt stepped up as a freshman. And Naz, what exactly did they say? Um, if you know, I don't know if you can use the language, but what exactly did they say at halftime that, that got you guys fired up for the second half? Thank you. Uh, really just that. Thank you. Really just that um, we're better than what we were. We're better. We have, we can bring better effort than what we put out in that. Um, we were very prepared. It's just a matter of actually doing it and not doing it. And um, they really just told us that we weren't doing well and we need to really pick it up. So um, I think we did a great job of that. Our next question will come from Cal Friedman. Marlon, you struggled a bit in your first start of the season. In the first half, you only had roughly two points, turned the ball over a decent amount in the first half. But in the second half, you came out much better. What does that say about your mentality to be able to turn around from a poor performance and turn it into a good one? Um, that's something I always had to do my whole life is to learn how to um, overcome adversity. Um, second half, I feel like I, I'm always just the same person, always even kill. So... I feel like I, um, first half was first half. I didn't do a good job. And either I can respond well or I can do even worse. So I um, told myself I'm going to decide to pick it up. So I did that. 